Hello, it's Sarah, and it's time for the September art journal page. I've kind of worked it out. I shared with uh, some of you on my Mixed Media Live video. It was a picture that I saw at Ikea. This is it. Actually, my cousin Fran really loved this, and she wants me to replicate it for her in a standard size, a very, very big, uh, I don't know how big, she has two big black frames. So I thought I'd do it first in miniature. <laughs> so here's what it kind of looks like. I played around with some colors and I'm liking the colors. I'm going to downsize the brushes because I use too thick of a brush or big of a brush for this size. Um, but I, I kept it real simple um, and I did not prep that one so I'm gonna prep this one I'm gonna put a little matte medium on here oh gosh because um, I feel like that way if you make a mistake you have a better chance of being able to get it off or um, you know it helps to have the the surface sealed so let's see I'm just gonna use you know what I could use my um, this just is close at hand it's a palette knife I probably put out way too much matte medium so I'm just gonna scrape this on here and then I'm gonna scrape what's left back in my bottle I'm going to contaminate my bottle a lot of people don't suggest doing that oh god maybe I'm not yes I am um, because I, I don't know enough about it that it bothers me. It doesn't bother me. I'm not making works of art. I'm just, um, playing, you know me. So I'm scraping this down to cover all the surface and then I'm going to have to let it dry and I'll talk to you a little bit about the supplies I'm going to use. Um, using filbert brushes mainly for the um, leaves but you can just make it make the leaves with a flat brush or any brush because it's not realistic it's very um, abstract looking design so I'll show you again so see that covered pretty well and I did not have to get a brush dirty I'm just going to set this aside to dry. Clean off my palette knife and my craft mat. So the background though is done with a pretty big, a decent size brush. So just let me show you what I used and then use what you have because this is just play and it's not going to look like mine because mine is mine and yours is yours so basically I gotta get another one I feel like I got it all over me I used a pretty well half inch flat brush this is simply Simmons I think I got it at Michaels or AC Moore locally so it's half inch because we're working small and that's how I pulled my color in. So I used um, Deep Midnight Blue for the dark blue and I used Cadet Gray for a light gray. So a darker blue and a light gray. And I really wanted to leave the blue a little bit look here's how the picture. I mean it doesn't have to look like the picture but it, it's kind of cool because you see the sky kind of shining through the leaves and I think I took my blue up too high but that's just because I used a big brush to make my leaves so I'm going to try and really scale that down and this is just me playing with color but I'm when I do it I'm going to do it much more compact um, I used a liner which is I'm going to probably use a smaller one. This is a number one liner. I might go down even finer or I'll just load it. I was just slapping it on there. I was just like pulling my um, stamp, well, they're trees, um, really thick. So I may, I may or may not. I may just control the brush better. 
I used a filbert. Now a filbert is, or it's called a cat's tongue, to make the leaves. So basically, it's like a flat, but it kind of rounds off at the top. So if you have one of those, you can use that or just use a flat brush, but I would scale it back. Go a little smaller. So I'm going to use this one actually. It's a number six, and I got these from Artist Club. This one I use the eight, and I would even scale. I'm going to try and go real gentle, and you know that's not my forte, but I even have, this is a number four low Cornell filbert to keep it really small. And basically that's it. Um, and then for other paint colors, for my leaves, I used three, um, four colors because I used burnt sienna for my brown. So there's brown on here. I used antique gold for the main color of the leaves, a few in cad yellow just to pop, to add a little highlight, and then I used um, Deco Art Metallic Glorious Gold. And that was one of my favorite things about the piece was that it had those pops of gold paint on there. And that is it. So that being said, oh, and then I did add a little black because I wanted my brown a little darker. So I added a little black to my brown to make the, the, the really dark shading on the tree trunks. And then I did add a little spiced pumpkin of a couple highlights, but I don't even know if that's bright enough because, see now that's for Fran, because Fran loves orange. And I thought I would just add a little orange and change it up a little bit and make some falling leaves because it is for September. And we're going for, it's the, we've, we've just passed the first day of fall. And then I ended up putting a few along the bottom, which the original didn't have. So this is what we're kind of going for. And I'm going to write on this. So you can take a pencil and basically, so here's what the, pe oh, let me get this back up here, my phone. Okay. So there's kind of clusters and it almost looks like there's trees in the back and in the foreground. So not foreground really, but they're kind of side by side but some are tall, some are short. So this is what I'm going to focus on this time more. Instead of mine's just a blob going across, I want you to create. So in, in that, I mean, I'm going to create a little cluster here, here, here. I'm going to do it purposely this time. And then I think I'll be more su successful creating the shape that I want. And then I'm also not going to bring my blue up as far. Let's see if I have a white pen. I'm going to bring, I just want to do the blue kind of tall. So I want it to kind of end like this. So I'm going to be much gentler and then I'll pull the gray. The gray can go all the way in, so you don't have to worry about your gray. But the blue I don't want to bring as far. And then I want to keep my trees kind of going like this. And they'll join, so they're going to go like this, okay? It's going to flow like that. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So let's see if my paper is dry. No. Uh -oh. I'm just wiping away the thick parts. All right, I'm going to dry it a little bit. I mean, I could turn the camera off. I'm going to turn it off. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. It's all dry. And we're going to hope for the best. <laughs> That's what I say all the time. So I'm going to get some of that dark blue, and I'm using um, Deep Midnight Blue. And I liked it because in the picture, you can see where there's dark spots and light spots. So we're going to do one coat and hope for the best. Make sure that... Um, I'm going to try harder this time. When I first did it, I didn't, I just was slapping it on there. But I'm going to try, and I'm still going to work with that half inch brush. And maybe I will just make a line. Huh. See, I don't really want to, but if I do, it'll help me. Because I tend to um, 
I'm an overdoer, you know what I'm saying? So I just want this to be maybe like this. So kind of like a mountain looking thing. And I'm taking my flat brush. I had water blot, so I want a little water in the bristles, but it's mainly, it's kind of like a dry brushing effect that I'm going for. And I'm loading my brush. So I'm over here, sorry. Load because I'm trying to be like close up, but there's not enough room to see me loading the brush. But I do both sides of the brush. Got a lot of paint on there. And then I'm going to stick it down and just drag it up and try to stop at that line I made. And I think I'm already seeing a difference because I used, um, see, there, see those lines, which I don't mind, but I used my, uh, palette knife to apply um, glazing medium. Actually, I used matte medium. Maybe, maybe you don't want to put as much water in your brush. And now I'm turning my brush sideways because I'm liking the feathering effect that I'm getting better when I turn it sideways. So go up and maybe turn it. And it also makes a dark light so who knows, listen, I'm no expert, I'm just trying to replicate that um, look. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So uh, it's not dry brushy enough for me, I'm kind of wishing that I, I, was, I was better at dry brushing, but I'm just not. I, am, I always use water in my brush, so it's not going as well. And then I could come back with a, another coat. But I like that. It looks washy. I'm going to come back in with the gray. And I use, I'm using Cadet Gray. It's just a light gray color. And I'm trying, and I, I want to leave a little bit of white showing through, I think. So just, again, I'm rinsing my brush out, but I'm going to get it drier. I'm not going to use as much water on this part. And again, I'm loading the brush both sides. And I'm going to attempt to keep this, well it could be thicker at the edge, at the border. So right here just kind of go hard and coat it thicker. And then we'll focus on um, leaving some white space down the bottom. And see how that uh, matte medium left a line. Alright, so I got the border pretty good. Now I'm just going to flick it down in there. And whatever happens, happens. It is what it is. We're not going to see a lot of, the, of that because that's right where my trees are going to go anyway. I really just want to be able to see. Maybe I'll pull a little bit down into the blue. I don't want too much white, but I want some. Just because it, it'll add depth and highlights. So that's what it's looking like so far. A bit of a mess. I'm going to rinse my brush, and I'm going to do another coat on the bottom. Really focusing on, um, where's my blue? Uh, this bottom part. I just want it to be really dark. Just like I did with the gray. And I'm going to Pull the paint, I'm um, sorry, water out of my brush and really try to have it drier like I did this part. I'm holding my brush straight up and down, like really perpendicular to the page. So I just get a better flicking motion that way. I can pull the brush and it lifts off the paper instead of leaving a big blop. Well, that's the idea. I just left a big blop. <laughs> so, oops, a little bit of black. That's okay because you know what? We're going to put um, stems in there. Whoops, I really don't want it though. So that's another reason why um, hopefully the gel medium might be a good idea 
if I want to take that off let's have a look I think it's going to be okay because I'll make a um, I keep calling them stems a trunk there it'll be fine I'm going to just roll with it I think I still want a little bit more blue though I want it to be um, oops oh. I don't know what that was something that was on the um, that was the mess that I just wiped up <laughs> and now I actually turn my brush sideways and just creating some more striations I guess you'd call it I don't want to change my flow here because I did like that and this is how you mess up your brushes for sure this type of painting isn't what I'm used to but it's still fun and you can just use old grungy brushes all right I kind of like that I think it gives it a different see I kind of want to do it to the top too um, you know what I was thinking of doing I'm gonna get some pearl paint out and I could use silver Ooh, what would silver look like it has to be I'm gonna use silver and I mean listen you don't have to I just want to I'm gonna hopefully try and dry brush it I may even grab a different brush I have this like cool um I think they call it a comb where is it? I just saw it. Well, I could probably do it with this one, but I think it's in this. Um, yeah, this is kind of like a comb or something. I can use this. See, I have all these fancy tools and I never use them. This is called a Black Gold Dynasty. I don't know what. Pat patented. Patented. I don't know. But I'm going to load this with silver. And see, it has like a zigzag cut into the bristle. And I'm just going to pull some silver in the gray and see what it looks like. I feel like it, guys. I'm sorry. I don't, I shouldn't go sideways. Okay, I'm definitely use, letting the brush hit the, hit the edge. Oh, wow. I love it. I love metallic so much. Okay. All right, now I'm going to come back and just use the tips. So a very light flick. Come on. That's gorge. Oh, I love it. All right, that did exactly what I was hoping. All right, so I'm rinsing those off. Actually, just leave them in the water. Now, I'm going to do, on this one, I actually did the leave part first, but we're going to do the stems first. Because I just feel like, also, I want to kind of make a, um, see, I do want to, you know what, I could use a chalk pencil. That's what I should be using the whole time. And I think I have a white chalk pencil that I just got, but I don't know where it is. I have this one. A quilter's pencil. And I think this comes off, but I definitely have a chalk pencil. I just don't know where it is. Hi, Kiwi. Um, anywho, because, oh, this one might, this is a dressmaking pencil, um, because I, this way it'll come off, because I can see that, uh, pencil line I made. Alright, so, I'm not sure if it's dry dry yet, but I, I'm going to make circles, and you guys probably won't be able to see it, but I want my trees to kind of go like this, remember? I want it to be like a zigzag. You can't. I can't see it. I'm going to use the yellow. And I don't even know if this will show up. And I, I, oh, it's not showing up. Tag nabbit. Um, anyway, I'll just have to do it. I'm going to do it. Anyway, so here's what I'm basically going for. I want to make a concentration of leaves in each of these bubbles, okay? And the first color you're going to start with is your middle value. So I have this antique gold. That's going to be the abundance, and then I'm going to highlight with the cad yellow, and I'm going to shade with the um, burnt sienna. And I'm going to use the number six and the number four filberts, because I want to keep them smallish. 
I am, ugh, I just put paint in my hair. I'm going to use a pencil because I just want to make this look right. So I'm going to do one here. Go up a little. Down. And then. Can you see that? Not really, but here, here. Here, here, here. All right, good. I'm very happy about that. Makes me feel more comfortable so I can just freely make these. Now, a leaf is this piece specifically is not, um, like I said, it's not a realistic, oh dear, realistic pa painting. So you could, you have, you could do whatever you want. You could use your fingers. I would do it with my fingers. Um, so let me just get the mess off. But, that being said, I'm going to use a brush, and I'm going to go, I'm going to start with the six first. I should probably start with the smaller one. You know that? Because I'm a heavy hand. It's just going to take longer. So I have my antique gold, and I'm going to go into this first swiggle, and I'm actually, yes, I'm going to have water on my brush, blot, and then I'm just going to load it gently. I'm not going to have a, too much paint on there. And here's how I make a leaf. I put the brush down and pick it up. But you, this painting was kind of like this. It really wasn't leaves with points on them. I'm just going to do some with points and if this way it, if, if it works out that they all have points, it's great. If it doesn't, that's the kind of the look that you're looking for. But I'm going to kind of turn the piece, too. So let's see. I'm going to start. And at the edges, I'm going to make it like they're um, more sparse. I'm going to keep it denser in the middle and have a couple that go up high. And you can definitely overlap, but don't fill in the entire thing because you're going to want some background color to show, and then you're going to have to have a place to put your darks. All right, so that's all I'm going to put. Now I'm going to go to my next circle, which is up here, and keep it concentrated in that circle. Oh, shoot. I meant to do the, the stems first. All right, we'll do the stems after this before we put our other colors of leaves on. This is going to be better though because you'll be able to see it won't just look like a blob going across the page I hope. And if it does, guess what? It was still fun. That's the whole point. This is for fun. So this is my um, September art journal page and I cannot believe how fast another year has gone by. 2017 started out with some little bit of shaky ground there because someone I love very very much had a bit of a struggle in the beginning of the year but they are on the path to goodness and fixing it and everything's good right now so just enjoy that and what else? My my boys are going oh, to the movies tonight to see it. I am not going. I don't like scary movies. And I mean, if it was home, like if it was on HBO or something, I would probably watch some of it to see if it was like really scary or suspenseful. Sometimes if it's suspense, I like it better. But if it's scary I like like I just don't need that in my head so um I would try it at home but I'm not going to go pay and not like it um anywho and I thought it would be fun for the boys to just have a night out together so see how I'm getting sloppier because I'm that's how I roll I just get I get I'm too impatient but look, so I like how I'm making it 
Definitely has a shape this time. All right, so that's it. I've established where I want my leaves. Now I'm going to come in with my liner brush, and I'm going to go with, I have, here it is. This is called Asphaltum Brown, but I'm going to mix it with a TNC bit of black and use this as the, the shaded side of the um, branches, and then I'll come back and highlight it with uh, a couple of different colors. We're going to use some of the uh, burnt sienna and some white, well not white, gray, and so um, it'll be cool. So I'm going to kind of focus on where these trees, like give that the main focus right now. So I have a little bit of black. I'm just going to put in this brown. Oops, you didn't see me do that, did you? Sorry. I had a puddle of brown and I just scooped out a little bit of black so it's a teensy bit. I just wanted it to be a very, 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 very dark chocolate. Hey, what you doing? Come here. This is my bird. Kiwi's here. Kiwi, say hi. Say hi. No? Okay. So now, look how thick I can get that brush to be. And that's dangerous for me because I will get too much so I'm gonna really try and get this um, maybe I'll get it a little wetter so that it flows off the brush nicer and we're just gonna pull a stem just go from the bottom up into the leaves and I'm using I'm trying to use the tip of the brush and not push down because if I push down, I'm going to create, a, oh, that's a ton of paint. I'm going to create a much thicker line than I really want. Ugh, I am so heavy handed. I had a blop of paint. All right, so it's, it is kind of like I've created five trees, but I'm going to put a branch that kind of makes a tree back here now. So I'm going to go in with little behind um, trees. So let's make this one is going to go up to here and this one's going to come like right in the middle of those up here and here Hopefully I'm in the shot because I'm really having fun and I'm not paying attention. <laughs> and what the heck, I'll just put one over here. So I think I want to do one more either right next to or it's just to break it up a little. Let's see. I want to put one over here because there's nothing over here. And I want to put one like really close to this one too. And really close to this one. And I'm going to put a couple of little um, Y marks, like not a Y mark. Ugh, see that's where that black was. Um, but we'll highlight it, it'll be fine. Let's put one right here. And right here. They're almost like little baby. That's enough, I think. So you can get carried away. But I like that. Now we have to highlight them. Well first actually we can um, make a few little Y's like up at the so right here for the main one, we'll do it. We'll do it mainly for the main looking ones. And because now we're going to come back with another bunch of leaves. But let's highlight a few of these because they're really kind of blending in with that blue. I'm going to use some um, 
burnt sienna which I love it's like a reddish brown and that's what I'm going to use for my um, brown leaves too but I'm just getting this nice and wet and I just want to skip it down the left side so I'm going to do the tops of some of these skip it kind of down Oops. And if you made your black line a little too thick, you can um, cover it up with some brown. So like right here, and right here it's a little bit thick of dark black, or dark, dark brown. I just got some more water because I can't I couldn't make it move like it was sticking to the paper all right too much paint Sarah so see that just helped find it and you can still see the shading but you now you can see the um, the brand the tree much better I don't know, maybe I will add a little bit of um, gray on some of them. And look, I made a few splotches there, which it does not matter at all. They'll look fine, then I can get them off. All right, I'm going to leave them alone for now, and let's go back in and put another batch of leaves. I'm going to throw a couple of the burnt sienna leaves right now too and then we'll go over them. So let's see, do I want to go bigger? I'm going to go the same size because I'm a heavy hand and those leaves could even be smaller. I'm just saying. Alright, so now I'm going to use burnt sienna and just make a few. Maybe in here and there areas. Um, maybe towards the middle. Oh, that's a lot of paint, Sarah. Hi, Kiwi. Why don't you say hello? Say hello. So today I just went for a walk. I didn't run at all. And it is so humid outside. Oh, MJ. I was sweating like could be, like anything. But um, I wanted to see if my hip or back, whatever it is, behaved differently after if I didn't run. Um, and it seems to be kind of the same. Uh, so... I'm just going to have to ask the doctor about it. Hopefully be able to get an MRI or I don't know what they do. Take an x-ray or something. So see, doesn't that look cool? Just a few. Maybe have one kind of on the outskirts. Up here. I'm loving it. It's just supposed to be fun, guys. So please stop if it's not fun and do something else that you that makes you happy. All right, I'm gonna go put in a couple more of the um, the dark brown. I mean, um, orange. It's a pfft, antique gold. Dur. Kiwi, you're molting. You're molting. See, my brush is getting messed up already. Um. Anywho, I'm going to now leave some because here's where it could turn into a big blob I still want it to look loose but I'm gonna fill in a little bit near the stems that's my thought anyway kinda go over a few places filling in the circle a little more 
Oh boy. Listen, I'm no expert, but it's getting there. It looks kind of decent. I like that. Okay. So, because I want some of the gray to show through, but it is supposed to represent a couple of trees back in front and here and there. So, like, this is kind of just hanging, so I'm going to cover it a little bit. There was nothing there to set it down, so let's do one there. Okay. Right over that stem. Listen, I'm just winging it. Feel it. Do what you feel. This is a little bit, I guess you would call this intuitive, right? So it's just what you think your, your forest wants to look like. What does your forest want to look like? Um, I want to add enough so that when I put the yellow, the brighter yellow on, I don't come back with this again. I mean, I could. You could always keep coming back until you're happy. Nobody says you can't. So I'll have to step away from it because I don't want to lose my swoopy either. That's looking good. I think that's enough brown. So let me think. Let me look at it. Um, I think I'm going to go for it and just put that bright yellow, which I'm, it's cad yellow, cadmium yellow. It's a much, much brighter yellow. And it's been sitting out a little bit. I'm just going to get it wetter. I have a fan on too. All right. Now this I just want to pop a few too. I'm going to remember my circles now and try to keep these small. Oh boy. Nothing I do is small, I'll tell you. It's not easy. Ooh! I think somebody's doing some yard work. Or... It's okay, curb! Not yard work, but like con Ooh, construction or something. And they just made something bang pretty, pretty loud. She doesn't like that. She doesn't like loud noises. So how's it looking? OMG. I think it's looking great. It's looking very abstract. I like it much better than my first one. So that's something, right? Let's put one up there, there. Kirby. It's okay. All right. And then we just have to put the gold. So pretty. And then I was thinking of doing that orange falling down. I still kind of want to. I might have to go for a much oranger one. Let's see. Do I have... I put my other paint... Paint... Uh, what is this called? Spiced pumpkin. I really like it. Oh, there's it is again. But I kind of want... Um, burnt orange. Let me just, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Kirby came up. She's on my seat. Hello. Hello. <laughs> She's nervous. She just got nervous. There's some banging going on, but I like it. So I got the, this is called burnt orange. See, it's way more rich. This is a little bit more of a highlighty orange and it matches. So I'm going to use the burnt orange and just make a few little ones that are kind of falling down. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. And then I got to add my gold. So let me do my gold first. Let's do our gold curb. Go. You got to go potty? What are you doing? Can you get down? Because I can't do this with you on my lap. All right. So I have my burnt orange. And I'm just going to have like a few... Go. Good, good, good. Okay, she got down. Falling down. See, my brush is totally, look, 
it's splaying, it's falling apart. I don't like that. I like it. I want it to be, oop, I don't know what they're doing. It's okay, Kerr. Oh, here she comes again. Come on. Come on. It's okay. All right, she's back on my lap. It's okay, honey. I don't know what they're doing. They're just building, I guess. Oh, geez. I just stuck the back of it in yellow. It's okay, Bubba. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's because Fran loves orange, and I just thought it would change it a little. I don't know. It would make it... I kind of like it. I don't know. Maybe it's weird. No, I like it. All right, but I should probably put a couple in the tree, too. But why are the orange ones the only ones that are falling? Um... I'm going to put a couple in the trees, like right here. I, I, I think the orange was a mistake now. I'm kind of regretting because I could have made any color fall, and the orange is just so, but I like it. It adds more color, and it's fall, right? Kirby, see? It's all done. They're not making the noise. You can go sit down. Go ahead, go sit down. Come on, I can't paint with you on my lap. I like it. OMG. All right, we're going to do gold. Maybe I'll use my bigger brush for the gold. Because the other one's looking really ratty. Right, Kerbo? Goodness, I'm getting kisses. Kirby, you're such a silly girl. Nothing's wrong. Everything's great. Just a little building. OMG. I love adding metallic. Maybe have them fall too. Oh boy. They show up so nice on the blue, but I think I'm getting crazy now. Uh-oh. See, I changed the whole shape of my... My little, oh well. What are you going to do? Look, I'm not an expert. I'm winging it here. I'm winging it. All right, hold on. One right there. And then how about one there? And that's it. Stop, Sarah. Stop. Just stop. I can't. All right, I'm stopping. That's it. All right, let's look at it. That's it. I think that's it. Now let me get my phone. And have a look at the picture. Oops, I just took a picture somehow. I don't know how. Look, I mean, this one's definitely more defined. Like, I made mine little circle things. You know? But it's, it's similar, right? We got the idea. I really like how I left more of the light color showing through. I mean, I wish I did more. I could probably put back some. But like right here, like I love this spot right here. I'm going to put a little gray. Um, you got to get down. Look, it's not making a noise anymore. But I'm going to put a little bit of gray. Oh, she's right at my feet now. Kirby, it's okay. I'm going to put... Oops, I have brown in my brush. Let me get it out. A little bit of gray highlights on these trees too. So bring this gray down into the blue too. It just looks better and I see it on the painted piece so I like it. Oops, sorry Kerbo. I just kicked her a little bit. Alright, gently. I just want to do this very gentle. And kind of hit and miss. Not. I really don't want it everywhere. And I'm actually um, flattening out the bristle on here, and that's getting me a really nice thin line.
Oh, I don't like that. That's fine. Just leave it. That's me yelling at myself, guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, this is where it got a little overly... Oh, man. That just pops it up. Am I in the shot? Yes. And I am really keeping that line super thin. And... Woohoo! That helped a little bit, right? Wow! I love the metallic in the sky. Let's go out. All right. It is what it is. Let's sign it. I haven't signed anything in a while. I don't know. All right, we're going to put September. I'm going to use my... Mm, yeah, I'm going to use a white pen. Because I think it should show up nicely right on this blue. Um... I'll put my name. It's so thick. And this is September. S E P T E M B E R. September. I like it. And I don't love the little pencil lines on there, but you can't really see them. It's pretty cool, though, guys. I hope you liked it. Happy September. Thanks for watching.